What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode. Today, we're gonna talk about why Tesla is more like Apple than it is like any other car company and why I really think Tesla is actually just selling computers on wheels and they get mistaken as a car company, but this is actually something totally different that is putting software first, digitizing an industry that needs to be digitized. I mean, software is eating the world. We can't deny that. And I think software is on the cusp of eating the entire automotive sector led by one Silicon Valley startup, and that is Tesla. Much like Apple totally reinvented what the phone could be with its iPhone, turned the phone into a computer, expanded the market and addressable revenue opportunity for what a phone could be, um, really turned it into a platform for applications and services in a portal into the digital world. I think Tesla is on the cusp of doing the same in the automotive sector, transforming the car into a computer on wheels and you know leveraging this as a platform to interact with the digital world. And so I think this is a huge key competitive advantage and there's no other company um, on the planet that actually is a computer on wheels company. Apple, um, who is probably the world's biggest computer company right now, has been trying to work on a car with Project Titan. Even they can't pull off what Tesla has accomplished. Tesla, starting 15 years ago, um, originally had their computers on wheels selling for about $250,000. Then five or six or seven years ago, even came out with the Model S, a $100,000 computer on wheels. Today, the Model 3 and soon to be the Model Y are available for around $40,000. So Tesla's been rapidly dropping the prices of their computers as the technology improves as they scale up manufacturing with economies of scale. In the meantime, as they've done this, launch new models and products, the, the unit sales of their computer on wheels are through the roof. They were up 50% last year. I mean, this doesn't sound like an automotive company. The automotive market was flat to down last year, but yet Tesla's growing at 50% really because they are selling computers on wheels. And that is the opportunity here. I think over the next decade uh, or two, I think we're going to replace the entire automotive and transportation system, especially new car sales. And, and nobody's going to be buying dumb cars. Everybody's going to be wanting to buy a smart car, and Tesla's the only company that currently sells that. For years up until now, your car has not really been a place where you interacted with the internet. I mean, sure, since technologies and computers have become mainstream, there's been more and more innovation with, you know, bigger screens in cars, more and more buttons, adding in navigation, different features, but these have really been piecemeal and sort of half-assed approaches from legacy automakers, and what this has resulted in is a massive amount of bloating, different electronic systems, you know, nothing is really unified um, on one single computer or chip, and that's because automotive companies, for the past decades have been outsourcing almost everything in their cars, only focusing on learning how to build the internal combustion engine. They're not building any of the software or user interface systems that are actually the bread and butter of what's really important to consumers and how the vehicle operates. Tesla, as a Silicon Valley startup starting from scratch, has entirely reinvented the car to have every single thing controlled by software. Because it's not internal combustion and it's an electric motor, literally everything in the car is digitized from the way the traction works, the way the wheels launch, the way the battery is managed, um, the way the heating in the car works, the way the touchscreen works, the way the navigation works, and that ties into the car, the way the entire self-driving computer works is all controlled through one software system, really making these computers on wheels. A prime example of why, what Tesla is able to do with this uh, fundamental different technology architecture than every other vehicle is over-the-air software updates. Tesla's, all of their cars um, are literally able to get updates just like your phone. So every couple of weeks, the cadence of this has actually been accelerating. Tesla pushes out an update to its vehicles, unlocking more features, apps, services, improving performance even offering upgrades that they can monetize. I mean, this is a totally different consumer experience where your car actually gets better as you use it. And other automakers are trying to implement this technology as fast as they can, but the truth is they can't do it because they're not computer companies. And a, another huge example of where this is all headed and why I think you have to be a computer on wheels company to even be remotely relevant in the next decade is autonomy, you know, self-driving cars. And there's one co company that I think is ushering in this revolution faster than anyone, and that is Tesla. I was just in Los Angeles driving around in a Model 3, shadow out to Omar because if we were in his Model 3, I'll play some footage right now. And I mean, the, um, the ability of the car, once you get on the freeway to change lanes, to drive itself um, is incredible. And that rate of improvement has been mind boggling over the past six months of how good Tesla's navigate and autopilot and autopilot feature in general has gotten. And the reason because and the reason that rate of improvement has been so dramatic has because Tesla is be able to get iterative feedback from its fleet of now almost a million vehicles. Every time you type a search into Google, you're training its artificial intelligence platform you know, with new data and new inputs, much like, you know, they say data is the new oil. And I couldn't agree with that more. And just like uh, when you're training Google's neural net, when you type in a search, when you drive your Tesla, you're training Tesla's autopilot, how to get better. The second you disengage autopilot for some reason, because the software is not performing correctly, Tesla's going back, analyzing that footage, understanding what went wrong, um, and then improving it. And this constant improving and iteration is a reason why I think Tesla is so far ahead in the race to the building the self-driving car. 
I mean, just for an example, no other car company in the world is collecting even remotely as much data as Tesla. First of all, they aren't installing the eight cameras, the sensors. They don't have the infrastructure in place to be able to pull all that data, you know, send it back to, to their headquarters, start analyzing it, pushing back updates. I mean, this cadence of improvement is lightning fast compared to an automotive industry that's, you know, programmed to do years worth of vehicle cycles. They're just not used to fastly iterating on software. And this rapid iterative feedback loop with billions, literally billions of miles of data is, is a huge competitive advantage. No other company has even started collecting a single mile of data other than a few tech companies. So Tesla, this is a chart by Lex Friedman, um, a researcher who has an amazing AI podcast, says that current estimate of autopilot miles as of January 4th was about 2.2 billion. And by the uh, a little less than a year from now, they're going to have about 4 billion. So that's about 2 billion miles collected in the next year for Tesla. That's 5 million miles of autopilot on average per day of data that they're collecting. And they're not paying for that data. You actually paid them by buying the car and then giving Tesla all of this data to refine and improve its neural net. And so now Tesla is funneling, you know, billions of miles through its software training to get better and better. You know, for example, the second number two company that's trying this approach is Waymo. Like I said, a tech company, Built, trying to build computers on wheels, who's first of all, their computers on wheels cost about 400000 Tesla was building a $200,000 computer on wheels a decade ago. In Waymo's cars, they have to pay an engineer to drive around. And even with that, the CEO of Waymo was just bragging how Waymo had hit 20 million total miles of self-driving driven. And that was about, you know, up from 10 million the year before doubling. Well, if Waymo doubles again to 40 million and collects 20 million miles this year, that will be one one hundredth of the miles collected that Tesla has. So think about that. Tesla's collecting 2 billion miles this year. Waymo's collecting 20 million, literally 100x more for Tesla. And people are paying Tesla to do it. Waymo's paying people to do it. I mean, this is just a night and day approach. And this is, that's Waymo. That's the number two company. You know, Apple, who's trying to build an electric car, can't figure out how to do it. They can't even get one car on the road to start training their neural net. Same with every other legacy auto company because they're just not software companies. On top of this, Tesla's actually become a chip company as well. Um, you know, think about Apple starting to go in-house developing their own chips where who does Tesla hire? Pete Bannon, a chip engineer who led to Apple's chip team being so successful and being a game changer to develop a fully self-driving chip um, that's custom for Tesla's computers that can get a ton of input, a ton of data extremely quickly with extremely low power usage so it doesn't drain the battery too much. Um, this fully self-driving uh, chip program that Tesla's developed has already been in their vehicles um, for about a year now or about six months and going forward they're even going to put out another fully self-driving computer. So I mean, you know, Tesla's, you know, focusing on their innovation, on literally building new chips. You know, this is a ch as much uh, uh, as, as similar as Apple as it is to any other car company. And I think that is such a big difference. I mean, when you think about where technology is headed, um, just get into any vehicle and then get into a Tesla. The touchscreen is way bigger. The responsiveness of the t Tesla touchscreen feels just like your iPhone. It feels like home. It feels like the future. Every other car still has buttons. If, if they even have a touchscreen, it's extremely slow and extremely laggy. I mean, I think this, it, and this gap is only getting wider and wider um, and it's only getting more and more clear that Tesla is the only company that can really pull this off and think about it as we get more and more autonomous you know the amount of stress or importance of that software system of the vehicle controlling everything in the car um, only gets more and more important and Tesla starting from scratch by building the smart car has the infrastructure to continue to be, be prepared for the digitization of the automobile every other car company is not prepared for the digit digitization at all they have every other car company just has this piecemeal approach of electronic systems that are only getting more and more jumbled and complicated. And they just, I don't know, they just don't have the expertise to be able to pull it off in house. And so um, I think over the long run, yes, Tesla's on the cusp of selling about 550,000 cars this year, according to my estimates. Um, I think, you know, there's 90 million cars sold a year and still, you know, 80.5 million of them or 89.5 million of them are going to be dumb cars that are not built with software first. And I think that's rapidly changing. Tesla has gone zero to one. They have shown the iPhone moment of the automotive industry has happened. And now it's about just building as many of them as possible. And these are a little bit trickier to build than Apple's phones. So the ramp up is taking longer, but they cost much more. Um, and that's why we're seeing Tesla invest in a breakneck pace in a China factory, in a Germany factory, because they have a product that is better than the competition. It's outselling everybody they compete with, despite the fact that they have zero marketing and despite the fact that it's a much newer technology because it's just simply better. And so I think software is eating the world and it's we've already seen what that software eating the world looks like for the automotive industry. It's just about taking it from half a million cars to 5 million cars a year um, to 10 million to 50 million cars a year. And I think that is the excitement that has been driving Tesla stock is the realization that the future is inevitable. And when you think about um, this opportunity, Tesla, as of Q4, had 900,000 vehicles they've sold in their history. They're on the 
uh, poised to pass a million soon. 737,000 of those vehicles have autopilot to hardware or above that could potentially be enabled as robo taxis. But the point is here, this is a very interesting chart to watch because much like Apple is capturing a huge amount of value from its hundreds of millions of active installed customers, Tesla is building a similar network of, you know, monthly active users in its transportation network and are soon to cross a million and soon to be, now that they're pumping out half a million cars a year, Tesla's soon going to be pumping out a million cars a year. This number of monthly active users or mo monthly active hardware devices for Tesla is going to go in the tens of millions um, by the end of the decade, or at least over 10 million, and then continue to grow from there. And this asset is someone that Tesla can sell services to, um, they can sell games, they can unlock their ride sharing network. I mean, there's so many opportunities for what this can all be. As this fleet of, te of Teslas grows, they're gonna sell more and more add-on services and apps potentially opening up a marketplace for Tesla's cars. And I mean, it's really going to be competing with the iPhone as a hardware device that controls your interaction with the internet and your digital life. And so I think Tesla is, is truly a, a computer company whose computers just happen to have wheels. And this software and technology in their DNA is what's enabling them to basically come out with a totally different product and totally different consumer experience than anything else on the road. And we're on the cusp of such a big inflection um, in this entire you know roadmap and industry because as self-driving hits the entire structure of what that smart car versus dumb car means the gap gets you know goes from a little like this to way like this i mean the value of a car that can drive itself a model 3 is hundreds of thousands of dollars first tesla selling it now for forty thousand dollars so we're seeing tesla like i said their production's booming they're selling three hundred sixty-seven thousand cars a year soon to be half a million cars a year well their asps have been coming down but guess what's about to happen when self-driving hits their asps are going to go up tesla's production is going to still keep climbing and the revenue or value of each of those computers that they're putting out is about to skyrocket, potentially double or triple on the ASP. And that's going to fundamentally change the entire margin structure of Tesla. So you think about Tesla selling these amazing computers with wheels, making money now, doing 30 billion in revenue on the cusp of their technology because they're a software uh, first company, because they're going to get self-driving. Um, I think this is going to totally change what a car is and it's going to unlock, you know, anyway, it's hard to really imagine what, um, what, where this all goes, because just like the iPhone, we couldn't imagine what apps would be built on it, what it would be used for a decade later. Um, there was, you know, t countless billion dollar apps and companies just built on the back of the iPhone. I think there could be a similar potential for that sort of revolution and ecosystem to develop on Tesla's vehicles as well. And, you know, just this entire thing that in the future, we're going to have Tesla's driving everybody around autonomously. I mean, this is a fundamentally different world that you need to have proficiency in software to compete in. And no one else does in the automotive industry and every computer company that's trying to with Tesla like Apple or Google with Waymo or Amazon's rumored to do something, but they haven't come out with it. Nobody can actually pull it off yet. In the meantime, Tesla's off to the races, um, building a fleet of soon to be millions of vehicles on the road and just continually getting better and better. So I think um, this is kind of a weird, you know, thought provoking episode, less data, but I just think at a high level, the metaphor of Tesla is a computers on wheels company um, can't be understated. And this totally uh, it shines a light on why this has so much potential to be much more like the next Apple than it does to be like the next GM or Ford. Anyway, this is HyperChange. Would love to know what you think in the comments below. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.